YouTube and welcome back. Third year in a row you are giving us a style icon event. Same as other years we can get a free 93 overall style icon card by just playing the game. So in this video I'll go through all the objectives and explain exactly what you need to do to get yourself a free 93 overall MSP. If you're enjoying my videos please make sure you like and subscribe because it helps the algorithm more people see the video and also makes me smile. Without losing any time let's jump into the video have a look at the objectives, cards and everything you need to know about week 1 style icon 3.0. The 5 MSPs for week 1 will be Marianne Hosa, Cole Cofield, Andrei Kuzmenko, Brian McCabe and Andrei Svechnikov. Pretty much same as before, you can upgrade an 84 overall MSP all the way up to the 93. To do that you need 21 power up collectible. If you look at the MSPs, Andrei Svechnikov from Hurricanes, sniping forward or power forward, shooting boost, speed boost or dangle boost. I like that we can get his speed up. He's not the biggest player but I think Svechnikov always plays very very good. 1T, snipe, truculence and skilled up. Skilled up is probably because he scored out Lacrosse goal a few years ago I think and that's pretty much why they gave him a zone ability. If you activate all the synergies the shooting is all 99. I don't think there is any questions about that. Basically this guy will not miss a net at all. Hands as well 99, 99, 99, 95. Like what else do you want? You can activate some synergies and get that speed up, but I probably would leave the 95 speed. I think it's quite decent. The balance, 92. Endurance, only 88. But again, I still think it's really good. If, let's say, you activate Truculence, then this card would be phenomenal. Next one will be Marian Hosa from Ottawa Senators, or also played for the Red Wings. Sniping forward, two-way forward or shooting boost, defensive boost and checking boost. You cannot get his speed up, unfortunately, but let's say if you activate the standard synergies, you can get that shooting up pretty much all about 94 acceleration and speed 95 endurance 90 agility and balance 95 really good card also quite a big left-handed winger i know he can also play on the right hand but i probably would use him as a on left hand instead because in the end of the day he's a left-handed winger uh hands also very good nothing really to say about that the body checking could be higher because i think it's very important even considering they nerfed the hitting and hitting is not as efficient anymore but you still want that body checking to be let's say at least in the like mid 90s if you look at the superstar ability snipe no contest puck on string and unstoppable force unstoppable force will make this card really fun because like i said the hitting is nerfed so it's much harder to get that puck away with just trying to do like the hits but you still can do that it's, it's still in the game so unstoppable force will help you with losing the puck every single time someone comes at you next one will be brian mccabe from toronto maple leafs left-handed defenseman actually surprised to see him getting a card really like it Offensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, accelerator boost, defensive boost or checking boost. 93 speed, 95 acceleration, 93 agility, balance also very good and same about endurance. Shooting is also very good except that reshoot accuracy but you have slap shot power 99, slap shot accuracy 97, reshoot power 97 if you activate the synergies. Really good card. The body checking also 97. Such a big left-handed defenseman, these are really good attributes. If you didn't make headman then this is a really good alternative. 1T shut down elite edges and thunderclap i probably would not activate the thunderclap but if you activate elite edges shut down and one t on the defenseman you're pretty much golden next one is cole caulfield from montreal canadian sniping forward playmaking forward shooting boost speed boost and dangle boost for him you can get the speed up obviously we all know that caulfield is very very small right-handed winger so Technically, with how the game is playing, he's not a meta card, but if you're a fan of the guy or if you're a fan of the team, 100% this card is phenomenal. Unstoppable Force will make it a little bit more easier to play with the pack. Elite Edges, shrug it off and make it snappy. We all know that make it snappy is incredible ability. I don't really think that make it snappy zone ability is more efficient than, let's say, superstar ability. I'm trying to activate make it snappy on every single card who have a superstar ability because it's only two points. Again, four points for the zone ability is also not a lot so you can activate it shooting all 99 nothing to say speed you can get up as well body checking only 85 basically this is the guy you probably will use just to straight line and pass and i don't know let's say in front of the net with that make it snappy so that reshot will go in but don't forget don't forget that they made the goalkeepers now a little bit more efficient when facing the reshot so that making snappy still goes in every single time but if you're facing a goalkeeper let's say with the light work it will not be as easy as you think it was the next one is andre kuzmenko from vancouver canucks okay not vancouver canucks anymore because he was just traded recently to flames but still the card art says vancouver canucks so we will just stick with that sniping forward playmaking forward shooting boost speed boost and angle boost probably people didn't really expect him to go and be traded but again it is what it is if you activate the sins then obviously all the shooting is pretty much 99 except the slap shot power is 98 speed 94 acceleration 94 agility balance and endurance is really good i know endurance is only 88 but for his side i think 88 endurance is good elite edges make it snappy close quarters and puck on string 
Pack on string, I didn't personally use it, so I know a lot of people say that it's actually quite good. I just didn't use it, so I don't have any opinions. Is it worth it or not? Six ability points. I still think that I probably would go with, let's say, even close quarters and make it snappy if I would have six ability points. Or if you don't like close quarters, you can use elite edges and make it snappy for the same six points. If you do not want to go after MSPs, we also have other good cards. Patrick Line, right-handed winger from Columbus Blue Jacket. Sniping forward or power forward, shooting boost or checking boost. If you activate the standard synergies, you can get the shooting up to the 99. 92 acceleration, 92 speed, endurance could be higher, but in the end of the day, he is still quite a big right-handed winger. Ankle breaker, snipe, big rig and that 1T. So yes, Patrick Line scores a lot from the office and the one-timer, so he's pretty much similar to Ovechkin. Really good card in my opinion. If you didn't grab his MSP before, then Patrick Line, 90 overall style icon card is still very good. We also have Patrick Raw, or whatever you pronounce his surname. I'm not Canadian, so and I'm not French, so I don't have a clue, but you know what I mean. So quite a solid goalkeeper with butterfly effect, energizer, and that light work. I really would love to try this card out. Aggression 66, speed 90, positioning 90, that rebound control 90, and durability 99. Usually his cards play very good. Will I go and buy him? Probably not, but if I would pull him in the pack, 100% I would use him. We also have rope hints, two-way forward or checking boost with no contest and gold close quarters. If you look at the stats, really solid 88 overall card in the end of the day, so the shooting is good, the speed acceleration is good, the body checking is decent. Again, if you're starting out or you are just fan of this player, really solid card to try out. And finally, we also have Evgeny Malkin card we can actually use. 87 overall, playmaking forward or dangle boost, with superstar ability, elite edges, and zone ability, unstoppable force. If you activate the synergies, then you can get the hands up quite a lot. Acceleration is 91, speed 91, endurance could be higher, but again, it is what it is. You really cannot do a lot there. Uh, agility 95, balance 90, the shooting is 90, quite solid for 87 overall. So yes, if you was waiting for a usable Evgeny Malkin card, then this is the card I would suggest you guys try out. We also have Trevor Zegers 86 overall, so it means his X-Factor card finally is going up as well. Playmaking forward and dangle boost with superstar ability, it's tricky and zone ability is scaled up. Really nothing special about the card, I still would probably say go and grab his X-Factor instead. We also have George Paris, Jake Wallman, Rob Blake and Fleury. Quite interesting combo of the cards, but I believe then the week two will be better for the just the standard card. I think the MSPs in general are really good this week. Same as every other event, we also have hot moments. By completing the first one, you basically can get yourself mini pack, three gold players and 2000 coins. Then you can get mini pack, three gold players, 2000 coins, prime pack, three gold players and 2000 coins. You can get style icon, collectible, two gold players and 2000 coins, or you can get another style icon, two gold players and 2000 coins. Quite sad to see that there are no any power of collectibles because I think power collectible in the moments was something what was motivating people to actually play it. Just to play for two gold players, I don't really know. Is it worth it? If we go to the sets, so we need five collectibles to get his 84 overall MSP so we can upgrade it to the 93. I think five collectibles is quite a lot to be honest, because let's say you don't want to grind any moments, you don't want to grind any objectives to get five collectibles, you will need to trade in some players. So for example, if you want to get four collectibles straight away, you basically need to trade in 186 and I think that's quite a lot. You can indeed trade in lower overall cards and get one collectible, one collectible, so that's probably the way to go. If you want a quick way and trade in 186, you will get yourself four collectibles. I don't recommend you guys do it, so if you want to go and do this, please use the lower overall cards. If you're just making an 84 overall card just for objectives, then please use this set first. You trade in three collectibles for a random 84 overall power-up MSP. So yes, you will get one random, and I think then this is the way to go. Again, you can get a duplicate if you do more than once, but if you only do it once, then I think... Why would you need to spend five collectibles if you can spend only three? We also have another set where you have to trade in one collectible and you get style icon style choice pack. I'm pretty sure this one gives you a jersey. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure it gives you a jersey instead of style icon choice pack. Like, what exactly does it give you? I think I saw someone saying on Twitter that this gives you an actual jersey instead of a player. Okay, now the best part. What do you need to do to get that 93 overall MSP for free? So let's jump into objectives. It does say style icon 3.0 week 1. So again, I'm expecting week 2 objectives as well. I don't know what exactly it will give us, but probably we will get some power of collectibles there instead. So week 1 objectives will be play 10 games and you get an 86 overall player for free. 
this is where I really suggest if you're not interested in grinding for the MSP, at least do these two objectives because you will get yourself two free 86 overall cards. You can after trade them in for power up collectibles for anything you want. So play 10 games, you get a free 86 overall card. Score 30 goals in rivals, squad battles or champs. Also, you get yourself a free 86 overall card. I think it's a W in my opinion. Then you have to win 10 games in rivals, squad battles or champs and you get event collectible. Perform any digs with any style icon player and you get yourself event collectible again. You have to do that 40 times, unfortunately. Get stick lips with any style icon players 50 times. You get another event collectible. Get assists with any style icon player. You have to do that 65 times and you get another event collectible. Score goals with any style icon players. You have to do that 100 times and you get a power-up collectible get hits with any style icon player and you have to do that 300 times and you get another power-up collectible complete 50 games in rivals squad battles and champs with at least one or more style icon players and you get nhl player pack and you have to complete 80 games and you get elite pack and you have to complete 100 games with mega pack and then you have to open 12 daily reward packs to get a power-up collectible by completing every single objective you will get a choice pack of 93 overall msp even if you think you don't need them don't forget that there will be week two that choice pack will have all 10 msps in it not only week one because it doesn't say week one choice pack it says it says style icon 3.0 93 overall event player choice pack so it's pretty much all events so we will have five msps this week five msps next week so you will have a 10 msps to choose from so i still recommend you guys grind for it even if the player doesn't make your team even if you don't want it it's a free 93 overall card everyone should go and get it if you are playing the game and before we end the video, they also increased the ability point limit. So now we have 70 ability points to use. So that's really cool. Some of those MSPs have really good abilities I would like to try out if I would have the card. So 70 ability points will now allow us to do that. As I just showing the objectives, you will need to play a lot of games. So by completing some of the objectives, you already are getting yourself two players you can put in your lineup. Go and do that three collectible for a random MSP set as well. So that's three players. Maybe do few more, maybe buy something in an auction house because the more players you will have in your lineup, the easier it will be to get the objectives done. Again, pretty much same as every other week. Go put every single player in your lineup. Go and play squad balls and rookie because that's the quickest way. Unfortunately, you cannot complete it before 12 days because you need to open 12 daily reward packs and that's how long it will take you so even if you complete every other objective you still have to open the packs every day to do that with that being said you have 12 days pretty much to complete everything else i think it's quite easy in my opinion so i will personally start to grind probably this weekend with champs and squad battles and rivals and everything else i have to play and then we will see how many games i can complete without even trying and then i will start stacking my team up and go into the squad battles and grind everything else with that being said let me know what do you think about the msps what do you think about the event are you happy that they're giving us a free 93 overall msp for but just playing the game like it was last year and with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video have a good one and see you guys